Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. I am so excited for this video. I know I say that a lot, but I genuinely am. Some of you may already know over on my Instagram, I posted a couple of weeks ago that I'm going to be working in collaboration with Shop Resin Molds. And I honestly am so excited. They have given me a discount code for you all. And that is 10% off at the checkout if you use my code CCC. 2021 and it is never ending it doesn't expire this is going to be an ongoing collaboration fingers crossed <laughs> and i hope you really enjoy the video <music> So they have sent me a bundle of moulds to get started with. I've got this gorgeous cactus coaster. I've got this stunning monstera leaf mould, which obviously will be today's video. You would have already seen the thumbnail. And it is actually really large, the size of both my hands. They've sent me two cloud coasters, and I know already what I want to do with those. And uh, this one, this one is exciting. This is going to be the final video this Saturday coming. I hope you love it. I've got to keep it a secret until then. <laughs> but today's video is all about the Monstera leaf now. I know they're very popular. They're very in at the moment. And I have seen a few people using them. My gut instinct is to go with greens just because that is the natural colour. But of course you can do any colours you wish. But I am definitely going with a combination of greens. Now for the first one, I've just mixed up my jesmonite. I will put the measurements to this mould on the screen. I've mixed up a cup of jesmonite and I'm dividing it between three cups. At this point, I'm just adding the green and I'm hoping to create three different greens or three different effects. And it was at this point, I saw the marble, I was in love, but I had stirred it a, just a bit too much to create a pure marble leaf. So I figured I'd just carry on. So I've got my, my block color green there. On the second cup, I'm just adding a drop so that I can create a marble. And then on the third cup, I'm taking some of that green to the jesmonite to create an even lighter marble. Then the fun begins. And honestly, oh, you guys know I love a dirty pour. Like I've done the pyramids and I just love the, the results of a dirty pour. And this has to be one of the best results I've had, honestly. Yeah, here you see me. I'm just pouring a little bit at a time of each of the colours. I didn't want to be too uniform. I didn't want to, you know, put it in in a certain way. There was no rhyme or reason to how I was pouring it in. I wasn't looking for patterns. I was literally looking for crazy, wacky, abstract. And that is at this point where I decided, ugh, might as well just grab two cups and just pour them all over, nearly willy, no rhyme or reason. And I sometimes feel like those are the best results you get with jesmonite. Very similar to other kind of pouring mediums. You can't predict the outcome. And that is what I love about these messy, dirty pours. You will never, ever get the same results again. And that is rewarding to me nobody on this planet <laughs> will ever have a monstera leaf identical to the one you can make with your jesmonite but here i am just filling up the mold now believe it or not i guesstimated how much this mold would take and i pretty much got it spot on it doesn't happen often i promise i'm not bragging <laughs> but i did i actually got it spot on. And the reason it's on the board is, of course, so we can give it a shimmy, give it a shake at the end, get all of those air bubbles out. And that is it. Came back 30 minutes later to, to demold. Now, I was a bit nervous. I was a bit nervous. We all know that jesmonite is most fragile at this point. But yeah, I was keeping my fingers crossed, helping it a little bit. I was just pulling away from the edges, pushing those parts in just to make sure it came away okay. I was most nervous about the stem, but I'm telling you guys, it came off like a dream. You will see me here going really slowly. That's why I've sped it up for you because no one's got time to sit through that. But it came away absolutely dreamy. I could honestly, couldn't believe it. And oh, these results, how utterly gorgeous is this? 
I mean, it took my breath away. I actually loved the back, so I thought, you know, if the, if the front wasn't good, I could use the back. But I've definitely got some spill-offs here. So all I'm going to do is go in with my thumb, my finger, and get away as many of those as I can before going in with these nail files. Now, these nail files have lasted me months and months and months. They are a godsend. They're actually really handy to get into small little crevices like these. So I'm going to go around the whole piece where I need to I'm not gonna go you know I'm not <laughs> I'm not about to do extra work but I'm just gonna go around the whole piece where I need to get those edges tidy and not sharp and that is it for this I am obsessed already I I already know that I want to make more and more and that is why there are three in this video um there are three because I couldn't stop, I actually wanted to keep going and do lots of different colours, but I did stick to my greens. What do you think? Oh, let me know at this point. Okay, moving on to the second one. Now, when I first made the first one, I did pull the green in, I gave it a bit of a stir, and I saw the marble, and I knew it was too late, I'd already stirred it too much, but I knew at that point I wanted to do a marble one. So that is it, so natural jesmonite, nothing else, what you see here, four dabs of the green. I took that stick away and I used a fresh stick to just stir that in a bit. And look at this. It just gives me jungle vibes. Oh my gosh. Tropical. Tropical jungle vibes. Speaking of tropical, if you're in the UK, where did our heat wave go? <laughs> it is currently August and there's no sun. The skies are grey and we were promised a heat wave at some point. But yeah. Anyway, back to the video, thinking of tropical lands. Look at this. Look at the way this is pouring. It's like sometimes you find something and you just can't get enough of it. And that is how I feel about jesmonite and marbling. Because it's the same as the last one. You'll never get this pattern again. It is unique. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Anyway, here you see me filling up the mould. Honestly, I could go on, guys, but... I'm very aware I'm talking too much already. <laughs> but here I am, filling up the mould. It is on the board, but it's under the silicon mat this time because I really don't want to destroy my wood, which, yeah, I do that a lot. But here I am, demoulding. I felt confident at this point that I could demould in my hands. I didn't feel like I needed to rest it flat. Usually I would rest it flat to take the pressure off. But check this out. Oh my gosh. Even just looking at it back on camera, when I demolded it in person, oh, guys, my heart, my actual heart, it just reminds me of wispy, fairy tale, jungly vibes, I, honestly. And look at some of them dark places, some of them dark marble lines look like I've added a completely different pigment, but that's the beauty of green. The green comes through in so many different shades. It blows me away so same rules apply I'm just going to go around all of the edges tidying them up I do use my fingers and my my hands to get rid of the big bits but then the nail file just comes in handy be particularly careful of the stem because that is the area that is most likely to snap at this point okay leaf number three at this point I thought just whatever <laughs> just just have fun. I had some yellow. I'm I'm kind of working on two projects at the same time. So I had some yellow left over from that project. And I thought dots, why not? Let's put it in, put the dots in, and then added a little bit of blue to the yellow to create green. And then I went for it. I absolutely love the splash technique. So this is more of your fun, funky color one. And really any color goes, you know, there's really no rules, even though monstera leaves are mostly green maybe yellow if the sun gets to them but any color goes guys i really wanted to do like a bright pink i need some neon shades so if anyone can recommend any neon shades that would be amazing again i'm just going in over the top this is about 20 minutes i left it all to dry for about 20 minutes before i filled it up i'm going in over the top with a pale green this is the same green pigment nothing else added just green going in filling it up to the top and can we take a moment to appreciate the pouring because even just watching it it's so therapeutic 
I'm gonna shush and let you watch. <laughs> okay, I can't shush for that long, but I do appreciate it. <laughs> I do appreciate it if you've made it this far. And yeah, now we're gonna give this a shimmy, give this one a shake. It's on the board again, but on the silicon mat just to save the mess. Give it a good shake. I do shake it a lot more than what you see on camera. I do, I really go for it. And here is the demold of the fun and funky paint splash one. Remembering guys that Jesmonite is heat proof up to over, well over 100 degrees. This is going to be able to take your teapot. This is going to be able to take your pots, your pans from your cooking. And it's going to make the most ideal trivet. It really is. What I will do once I've sanded these, I will seal them with the Jesmonite sealer. I will add on my rubber dots underneath, but I will make sure that I add quite a lot because there's going to be weak areas if you don't add enough feet to this. There are going to be weak areas, if that makes sense. So you don't want to just put your pot down and then one of the stems breaks off or one of the leaf bits break. Leaf bits, leaf bits break off. Here they are at a glance. Let me know which one is your favorite at this point. I genuinely cannot choose between this one and the marble one. I th think my heart is telling me this one's my favourite. The marble one is my favourite. It is just stunning. This one, fun and funky, absolutely. I love it. But again, oh, my heart, my heart is with the marble. I absolutely love this one it reminds me of something and i cannot find the words this one here reminds me of camouflage which made me think i could do some camouflage colors in the future but let me know your thoughts at this stage what colors would you go for what are your color schemes at home and would you go bright yeah i think neons would look absolutely stunning but here are some close-ups i was toying with the idea of Colouring the line, you know, the, the vein that runs through the leaf, I was thinking about it, but honestly, once I demoulded, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to touch them because they're just too yummy. So thank you so, so much if you've made it this far. We're all almost at 12 minutes, so that's huge. So thank you. Thanks again to Shop Resin Moulds. I am going to put their details in the description box below. This is a collaboration with them. You will get your discount code CCC2021 at the checkout for 10% off. And I cannot stress enough, please come back for the next two videos because I am obsessed with what I have made with the cactus out of my comfort zone, guys. I went absolutely 27,000 miles out of my comfort zone and I adore the results so much. It is insane. So please come back for the next two videos. Next Saturday's video is going to be absolutely my favorite out of the molds they sent me. I am buzzing for Saturday's video. But I love them all, to be fair. So yeah, thanks again, Shop Resin Moulds. And thank you to everyone if you've made it this far. Take care and I will see you all in the next video. Till then, bye.